Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this piece of motion graphic using MoCraft tools inside Cinema 4D. If this is your first time to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And also don't forget to like this video and if you find it useful, share it with your friends. This is a technique that you can use to create very advanced and creative motion graphics using MoCraft tools in Cinema 4D. Please watch the video up to the end to know exactly how this technique works. Okay, first of all, what we need is to create a cube and change the size to 50, 50 and 50, not three dimensions. Okay, next go to MoGraph and hold down Alt and click to make the cube a child of cloner. Okay, go to the object tab. Make sure the mood is great. Let's change the count to 50 in X, 1 in Y, and 50 in Z. Okay, and decrease the size to 50 and 50. So this is what we have so far. Now we have to add an effector use the shader effector and well the cloner is uh, selected and you go to MoGraph and add any of these effectors it is automatically added to your cloner and you can come to the effector tab and you can see it but if uh, you come and see that it is not in your effectors tab for example uh, while my cloner is not selected and I just go to MoGraph and add a shader effector if you come and see to effectors tab in cloner it's not included in my effector so just drag and drop it here okay good so now select the shader effector go to shading you can use any kind of map for creating this anime in this motion I want to use noise shader and click on it go to the noise and change it to electric go to global scale and increase it to something like 5000 that's good so if you play you can see nothing is happening because we have to animate the shader go to animation speed and change it to something like one now if you play you can see we have a kind of movement here in our cloner so but still it's not what we want we have to change other parameters go to parameter tab and I'm using Cinema 4D R25. These options might be different in other versions of Cinema 4D. So uh, I'm gonna change the scale. Make sure that the scale is checked and it's uniform scale. Come to scale and give it uh, something like minus four. And as you can see, when we click, we have a kind of uh, different animation so let's play it it's really beautiful okay let's uh, add some position to that when we check position in x i want to change uh, the position in y increase it to something like 50 that's good Let's increase the frames to something like 180. So now it's the time to create our materials. Okay. I don't want any reflection. Go to color and just add some colors to that. And apply to the cube. 
and if you want to have a uh, better edges you see these edges are very sharp select the cube go to palette and check it see make it the fillet subdivision make something like five fillet reduce maybe two yes so now we need to create kind of different colors for our cubes here so the easiest way is to just make duplicates of our uh, cube inside the cloner just uh, hold hold control and just drag it and you can create other copies for your cube inside the cloner and let's uh, create other materials for them another material and just replace it here you see create another material apply it on the other cube another material apply it to the other cube another material and do something like this This is what we have created using the shader vector and of course you can go to the parameters and just uh, play with the numbers and values in order to create what you want make more variations to the animation minus three maybe and maybe we can go to shading and speed up our animation you see when we change these parameters we create different kind of movements and animations and this for today's video i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and till next time have a nice time and goodbye